What if I told you Egypt is building a new Nile River, a man-made waterway cutting straight through the desert? A $25 billion artificial river designed to turn sand into soil and reclaim one and a half million acres of barren land. It sounds like something out of ancient mythology, but this is happening right now. And for Egypt, it's not just an engineering project, it's a fight for survival. Because with 90% of its land covered in desert, Egypt's very future depends on water. The Nile, once seen as eternal, can no longer carry the full weight of 100 million lives. So, Egypt is doing what it's always done, defying nature itself. But, can a nation already struggling with water scarcity really build an artificial river through the desert and make it work? Let's uncover the story behind Egypt's New Delta project, a plan so bold, it could either feed the nation for generations or become the next mega mirage of the desert. For decades, Egyptians have depended on a single river, the Nile. Every year, its waters flow north from the highlands of East Africa, bringing life to the desert. But in recent years, that lifeline has been under severe strain. Climate change, population growth, and disputes over the Nile's upstream dams have made Egypt's water future uncertain. So, Egypt had to make a choice, adapt or face a looming food crisis. And that's when the idea for the New Delta project was born, a vision to create a second agricultural heartland in the middle of the Western Desert. The New Delta project, also called the New Delta Agricultural Development, is one of the most ambitious agricultural schemes in Africa's history. Located northwest of Cairo, stretching across over two million acres of desert, it's designed to be Egypt's new breadbasket. Think of it as building an entirely new ecosystem from scratch farmland, roads, housing, power plants, and an artificial river network to bring it all to life. The goal? To produce enough food to feed millions, reduce dependence on imports, and create over 10 million job opportunities. Egypt currently imports nearly half its food supply, especially grains like wheat. The 2022 global wheat crisis after the Russia-Ukraine war was a wake-up call. It showed just how vulnerable Egypt was to global shocks. This mega project aims to fix that by making the nation self-sufficient. But here's the mind-bending part. This farmland isn't anywhere near the Nile. It's in the heart of the desert, 150 kilometers away. Which raises one crucial question. Where will the water come from? To make this work, Egypt is constructing an artificial river system, a colossal network of pipes, canals, and pumping stations called the New Delta Water Treatment Plant. It's not just any plant, it's the largest water treatment facility in the world. The system recycles agricultural drainage water from the Nile Delta, purifies it, and channels it through a massive network of canals stretching hundreds of kilometers across the desert. This water then feeds into the new farmlands, turning dead sand into living soil. To put it in perspective, the main pumping station alone can process 7.5 million cubic meters of water per day, that's enough to fill 3,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools every single day. Egypt has also built 120 kilometers of canals, 22 bridges, and a network of underground pipes that act as the arteries of this man-made river. From satellites, it literally looks like a new Nile Delta green veins spreading through golden sand. But behind the visuals lies an enormous challenge, keeping this system sustainable. Water scarcity is Egypt's ticking time bomb. The country receives less than 100 millimeters of rainfall per year, barely enough to support life. Nearly all its water comes from the Nile, but even that's not guaranteed forever. Upstream, Ethiopia's Grand Renaissance Dam has already begun storing water, reducing downstream flow during certain seasons. Meanwhile, Egypt's population keeps growing expected to reach 130 million by 2030. So, the New Delta project must balance two impossible tasks. Expand agriculture while conserving water. To do that, 
Egypt is relying on modern irrigation systems like drip and pivot sprinklers to minimize waste. Crops are also being chosen strategically. Grains, vegetables and oil crops that consume less water but still yield high nutritional value. Still, critics warn that no matter how advanced the system, it's risky to base an entire project on reused drainage water. Over time, salt buildup and soil exhaustion could become major issues. So, the real test isn't whether Egypt can build the new delta, it's whether it can keep it alive. You see, Egypt's struggle isn't unique. It's a preview of what many nations will soon face. By 2050, more than half of the world's population will live under severe water stress. Deserts are expanding, rainfall is unpredictable, and food systems are under pressure everywhere. That's why this project matters far beyond Egypt. If it succeeds, it could become a blueprint for desert nations from Saudi Arabia to Namibia. If it fails, it'll be a $25 billion reminder that even the mightiest civilizations can't outrun nature. But the Egyptians have defied the impossible before. 5,000 years ago, they turned the Nile's floods into the foundation of the world's first great civilization. Now, in the 21st century, they're trying to do it again with machines instead of floods and engineering instead of miracles. The New Delta project is just one part of Egypt's vision. 2030, a national plan to diversify its economy and achieve food security. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has called it a project of survival, linking it to Egypt's identity and independence. Beyond agriculture, the project is also stimulating industrial zones, logistics hubs, and new urban centers nearby. Cairo's outskirts are being transformed into connected economic corridors, linking the capital to new desert cities like New Alamein and the new administrative capital. In short, the New Delta isn't just about farming, it's about reshaping Egypt's geography to support a modern population, a massive bet that technology can outpace climate change. Egypt isn't alone in trying to reclaim the desert. Saudi Arabia's Neom City, Israel's desert farming projects, and China's Green Wall Initiative are all parts of a growing global trend, turning arid land into opportunity. But what sets Egypt apart is its scale and urgency. Unlike others, Egypt doesn't have the luxury of time. Its food security depends on this project working. That's why international partners from European engineering firms to Gulf investors are already involved in parts of the infrastructure and energy supply chain. And while the $25 billion cost sounds astronomical, the payoff could be far greater if it secures Egypt's agricultural independence. Beyond the numbers and maps, the New Delta project is also transforming lives. Tens of thousands of workers are building roads, canals, and solar farms in what used to be empty desert. New farming communities are emerging complete with schools, hospitals, and homes. For many Egyptians, this project isn't just a government vision, it's a chance for a new beginning. Farmers, who once struggled along the crowded banks of the Nile, now have access to vast new plots of land. Young engineers and technicians are learning how to run large-scale irrigation systems powered by renewable energy. And entire families are moving from the old delta to the new one, symbolizing a generational shift in how Egypt lives and grows. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Egypt's $25 billion artificial river, Make sure to check out this next video for more stories of innovation, transformation and resilience across Africa.